students today we will study how plants and animals survive in deserts but before that let's see how the climate in desert is can you help me in this deserts have very hot climate in general there is high temperature during day time but nights are cold you can see sand everywhere in deserts also the rainfall is very less therefore there is shortage of water in deserts so now let's see how do organisms adapt in desert conditions now we will have a look at some plants and animals living in deserts then we will study their adaptations plants like cactus aloe acacia and animals such as camel snakes lizards kangaroo rat live in deserts now we will study adaptations in these organisms one by one in cactus plant there are no normal leaves in the picture can you see spines they are leaves which are modified into spines also in acacia there are spines these spines lose very little water from plant and protect the plant against grazing animals leaves of aloe store water in them so they are thick and fleshy in most of the desert plants roots grow very deep in soil in search of water most of the desert animals hide in burrows during day time and they are active at night such animals are called nocturnal students do you know that camel is called ship of desert it is because of some unique characteristics of this animal so have a look at the picture of this camel and try to answer some questions how is the skin of camel what can you say about length of its legs and where is the hump of camel in the picture let us find answers to these questions camel has thick skin long legs folded nostrils long and thick eyelashes and a hump these features help camel to survive in desert let's see how thick skin to prevent water loss long legs prevent major body contact with hot sand nostrils protected by fold of skin it prevents entry of sand in the nose long and thick eyelashes to prevent eyes from sand hump to store food also camel can store lot of water inside the body hence can survive without water for many days so just now you have studied adaptations to survive in desert now we will study adaptations to live in snowy regions can you tell me how is the climate in snowy regions it is very cold heavy snowfall and sometimes strong wind this is a picture of plant from snowy region its name is devdar have a look at the shape of plant and its leaves what is your observation this plant is conical in shape all the plants growing here are called conifers their branches and leaves are sloppy this prevents accumulation of snow this was about plants from snowy region do you remember names of animals from snowy region polar bear yak snow leopard silver fox etc are found in snowy region but how do they survive there if you see carefully there is thick fur on their bodies fur means thick hair to conserve heat these animals have a thick layer of fats under their skin this fat layer conserves heat inside the body also fats provide energy to animal similarly depending upon food that organisms consume they show adaptations kaskuta or dodder amarvel in marathi is a plant without leaves so it cannot make its food hence kaskuta sucks ready made food from other plants venus flytrap sundew or drosera feed on insects and fulfill their need for nitrogen on the other hand animals eating flesh can run fast to catch their prey lions tigers have sharp canines to tear raw flesh we see many birds flying in the sky how do they fly and why can't other animals fly can you think of the answer now let's see the features of birds that enable them to fly 
observe shape of bird's body it is tapering at both ends and broad in the middle this is spindle shape that makes flying easy birds have wings to fly wings are actually modified four legs their bones are hollow so birds are light in weight birds have feathers students an interesting thing to know that shape of aeroplane is designed based on shape of bird's body challenge for you collect pictures of kangaroo rat pine tree leopard and parrot write their habitat and one adaptation which enables them to survive in that surrounding summary in this video we see that organisms fight in any extreme climate or may adapt different ways to fulfill their needs that is why we come across such a great diversity among organisms